that's the first time since I've been a student here at Texas um, where I've gone to a basketball game at the Irwin Center and walked out. They've lost, The Horns have lost while I've been here, and I've seen them lose here at home in Austin. That's the first time at the Irwin Center where I've walked out of the building not feeling like we just got upset. That's the first time someone has beaten us here in Austin when I've been at the game. And I just said, that's how it's supposed to be. Kansas came in here to Austin and kicked us in the teeth. They were better than us. They did everything they could to beat us. And, and you know, the, 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 the scary thing, not really the scary thing, but one of the things is, I hope none of you really thought that um, I was saying that the only problem with this Texas team is free throws. That they don't, you know, if, we, if we just made free throws, um, we'll be fine, whatever. No, there's a, there's a lot more problems that I've known this for a while. Because today, free throws weren't horrible. And they weren't great. I mean, it was, you know, probably a little below average of the season. Better, better than our average. We did pretty good there. Um, but we, uh, it, it wasn't even about, it wasn't about intensity. It wasn't about um, wanting more. It was just about them being better. Um, of course, the crowd was crazy. You know, anytime KU comes to, comes to Austin uh, for a basketball game, everyone gets pumped. Um, great atmosphere. Uh, everybody was out there. Um, I've got the stampede pass, so I didn't have to wait as long. Uh, I'd wait about an hour outside the gate. There's some people who have been, you know, camping out there for the game, waiting since one o'clock in the afternoon uh, to to get in that ball game. And the horns came out tough. Came out like a uh, like a true underdog coming out. Got to got to hit the champ in the face. And we did that in the first part of the game. Jumped up fourteen to eight. Uh, looked like hey, you know, we we might be able to do this. Then KU proceeded to go on a 22-point uh, uh, run, and we never really saw the light of day after that. Um, now, the thing is, though, the guys didn't quit, uh, I, you know, uh, which <laughs> I know it sounds like a broken record in this, but I want to point that out. That, And that's not really – I'm not trying to compliment the team for that, but that, that almost is kind of scary that <coughs> this team was pushing hard, trying to get back in this, trying to make plays. They just, they just couldn't do it, um, you know. And even there at the end, though, we we had a shot to make it a game. I'm not going to act like we had a shot to win this thing, but we had a shot to make it, you know, a little more competitive than it was. Um, you know, we, we cut the lead to eight at one point, about three three minutes left to go. Um, you know, we, we we started taking advantage of some of the Kansas. You know, Kansas get a little more, little lethargic a little bit. Took advantage of that. Um, you know, we cut it to eight, and then couldn't do anything after that. We either turn the ball over or anything. Because if Kansas is going to make mistakes, they don't make many mistakes. Uh, Texas, I, I can't even count how many times. Uh, one of the main things that lost us this game was rebounding. Uh, they out-rebounded us. I don't know how many second-chance buckets they got. Um, also inside, Cole Aldridge won the battle against Dexter Pittman. Uh, Pittman came out strong in the first part of the game, like the first three, four minutes. Uh, and then Aldridge took over. Um, of course, Sharon Collins did his thing. Uh, so, uh, Morningstar hit a lot of uh, open threes and contested threes as well. Uh, they Kansas, what makes Kansas such a good team, what makes them such a, uh, a contender for a national title and number one team in the country, they've got scores all over the place, and each person on that team knows what they do. Each one knows what their skill set is. I feel like with the Horns... I don't feel like everybody knows what their role is or that everybody knows what they can and can't do. Um, now, Damian James, of course, he had another good night, um, at least scoring-wise, and Jacobin Brown did as well. Though with Jacobin, you know, I, I was proud of the kid for, you know, really playing hard. You could definitely tell he was driving to the bucket a lot. Um, but he and a lot of the others, I mean, the, the missing layups, I, I, it, it blows my mind that layups and free throws, you know, two of the basic essentials of winning basketball games, are two of the things that we struggle at the most. I thought our defense uh, for playing against Kansas uh, wasn't too bad. Um, I, I mean, other than the fact that we couldn't get the ball once we got him to miss a shot. Um, after that, we kind of uh, got ourselves into a bind. So uh, it was a fun night. I mean, it's fun to always watch you know, a, a great team play your team and see if you can get a shot to knock them off. Uh, we had that shot, and uh, we didn't take care of it. So... Uh, of course, the Irwin Center here in Austin, we got to be serenaded by a whole bunch of Jayhawks fans with Rock Talk Jayhawk, and shoot, their team earned them the right to do that. Uh, so, 
uh, you know, one guy, one one of the Kansas fans said after the game we were walking out, said, "Yeah, see that, that that's payback for y'all beating us so bad in uh, in uh, football," uh, which you know was funny. He was he was being good about it. So I mean, the Jayhawks fans were were real cool about it. I mean, they they love their team. They're passionate about their basketball team. Uh, that's what Kansas does is basketball, uh, and they do it well. So um, congrats KU. Congrats all the Jayhawks fans. Uh, Texas, you know, for a team that at one point was rated number one. Team that started the year off 17 and 0, the best in uh, school history. <sighs> Looking pretty mediocre to bad right now. Um, gonna have to change something. Something's gonna have to happen with this team. It's real young. I understand that. Um, there's a lot of expectations for this team. Maybe, maybe too many expectations. And at this point, I'm kind of removing that. I'm not giving up on the guys. Um, but you know, I I I would say it straight up. Going into this season, I thought this really could be a national title year. I'm not even joking. Not even not even being a fan about that. Just really thinking. Looking at them, you know, the first part of the year when we played North Carolina, who's not that great now, but, you know, Michigan State and USC, um, winning those big games uh, pretty handily. Um, really thought this is a team that could do something special. Uh, right now, you know, we'll, we'll be having to get out of the first or second round. So, but there's enough time to fix this, hopefully. But, uh, you know, any kind of a Big 12 crown, that's out of the window. That, that was probably out last week when we got beat by OU. So, uh, Congrats, KU. Congrats, Jayhawks. Uh, you guys are probably going to win the conference, and but hopefully, hopefully we can get a shot at you in the conference title game, the top conference uh, tournament. Though y'all seem to always beat us in that, so that may not change anything. But maybe we'll get better by then. So hook 'em horns and Texas fight. Congrats, Jayhawks. Got to take your hat off to them. They kicked their butt.